Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Optimization. This video shows how to perform a simple box size optimization with MATLAB using fmincon. Imagine that we have a box, and we want to maximize the volume by changing the length, width, and height of the box. At the same time, we want to make sure that the surface area of the box stays less than 10. This is a fairly simple problem to solve directly, but let's see how we could solve this using optimization. First, we define the equations that describe our box. The volume can be defined by multiplying the length, width, and height. The surface area is calculated as 2 times the length and width plus 2 times the length and height plus 2 times the width and height. Now, let's see how we describe this in code. Okay, so here we are in MATLAB. Let's go ahead and create a script that will solve this optimization problem for us. The first thing we're going to do is define a function that will calculate the box volume given the length, the width, and the height. And we'll define the volume as the length times the width times the height, just as we did before. Next, we'll define a function to calculate the surface area of the box, also given the same values. Then, we'll define our objective function. Now, this is the function that MATLAB is going to try to minimize to get our answer. However, we actually want to maximize the volume of the box. We're going to have this return the negative volume, so that when our optimization minimizes the negative volume, we'll get the maximum volume of the box that we can. We're also going to define a constraint for our optimization, which is that our surface area is going to be less than or equal to 10. Now, the way we do that in MATLAB here is we say that our surface area minus 10 is equal to C. And that will create our constraint there for us. Okay, now up above here, we're going to set our initial guesses for our values. We're going to set the length, width, and height guesses equal to 1. We're going to load those guess values into an array. We're going to call that x0. That'll be our initial guesses for the solver. Then we're going to actually call the solver and solve our optimization here. So we're going to be using the fmincon function here. Uh, so there's a few different parts of this call. We're going to say that our optimum x values, our size here, is equal to f min con. We're going to call the objective. We're going to give it our initial guesses. And we're also going to give it our constraint function that we defined uh, down below here. Now note that since these are defined in the same file, you'll need to use the at sign um, before the name of the function here. Okay, next we'll retrieve the optimal box size and volume. And we're going to calculate the surface area using our optimized box size, just to double check uh, that we're getting the, the size that's within our constraint there. Okay, let's go ahead and run this code and see what happens. Okay, so it says our optimization completed. Um, we found a local minimum, at least, that satisfies the constraints. So we're seeing that our optimum box size, our length, width, and height are all equal to 1.29. So we have a cube here. The maximum volume we are able to achieve is 2.15. And our surface area, using the optimized size, is 10. So that meets our constraint right there. Great, so that's a demonstration of how to set up and solve a simple box volume optimization using the Gecko optimization package in Python. Just to review, the steps we went through were first, describe the system. Next, we modeled the system using equations. We defined an objective function. We wanted to maximize the box volume, and we defined the constraints. In this case, that the box surface area had to be less than or equal to 10. Then we optimized the objective function given the constraints to find our solution. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please follow these links for other videos on optimization topics.